What's up YouTube? Gonna make a quick video on how to change the oil on a 2020 Indian Scout Bobber 60. Let's jump into it. All right, so there's a couple of things you wanna take note of. First is where the oil fill is. So it's gonna be right, let's see if you can see this right here. All right, so that's both your dipstick as well as where the oil gets filled in at. Don't need to worry about that right now. Second thing is where's the oil fill? If you look at the peg on the right hand side of your bike, it's right under here. Let's take a look. Right there. I think you can see that. All right. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is the oil drains. There's actually two of them. Ooh. All right. So we're looking for the oil drains. There's two of them. One is right here. One is right there. All right, and these take a number six Allen wrench and they have um, metal crush washers that come in the, uh, in the kit you get from, from Indian. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is just uh, something that's noteworthy. Before you start the oil change on this bike, it suggests in the manual that you either go for a short ride or that you let it sit and idle, let it heat up. Um, so from everything that I've, I've seen and read, um, from everything that I've seen in red, letting it sit and run for about five minutes or so, we get it, you know, warm enough, get the oil circulating enough for you to be able to, to change the oil properly. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bike started. let that run for maybe five ten minutes or so just kind of get it like nice and warm get the oil pumping through the system and then we'll cut her off and get uh, get going on that oil change so this is all you really need to do an oil change on a 2020 indian scout bob or 60. you need a pan to be able to drain the oil into you need something to be able to get the filter off sometimes you can get it off with a hand this is a, a cheap tool you can get at autozone there's several like this different styles Anyway, this will help you pull the, the oil drain off. You need, you need a wrench. This is a, a ratchet with an Allen wrench bit. Uh, that's a, it's metric, it's a number six. And then I picked up the, uh, the oil change kit that comes from, uh, from the dealership. Let's take a look inside. All right, cracking this thing open. You have four quarts of oil. You have an oil filter down in there, and then you have these are crush washers for the uh, the two oil drain the oil drain plugs. All right, that's it. That's all you need. All right, hopefully I can drain this without getting oil all over my my phone. Okay. Oh, that felt. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Wrong way. Okay, that cracked loose really easy. Number two. Also cracked loose pretty easy. So one other thing you're told to do is when the oil is draining, to hop on the bike and get it into um, you know, vertical riding position so all the oil can drain out. All right, so it's basically done draining. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plugs back in. So this is one of the drain plugs. You can see this wash that goes on. This, these are the crush washers that, uh, that Indian uses as gaskets 
And so they send you with, with two more when you buy this uh, oil change kit. Uh, so just go ahead and crack those open. They just slide on like a washer, there's nothing to it. So you're actually supposed to use a torque wrench when you're putting these back on. I understand if you don't have one, you can usually borrow one from AutoZone, check or something like that. Uh, they do have a lend program where you can go in and uh, you have to put a deposit down on the wrench itself just in case you don't return it, um, which is essentially the full price of the, of the tool. Uh, but you take it home, use it, and then bring it back to the store. I picked one up on Amazon for 40 bucks. Um, if you have that available, great. If not, uh, just kind of use you know, your best judgment on, on what 15 pounds of uh, torque pressure is, or 15 pounds of torque. So this is a torque wrench. This uh, wrench I picked up on, on Amazon of all places. Uh, I get a lot of stuff on Amazon these days. And, ooh, so it is a uh, half inch torque wrench that is loose. Righty tighty, all right. And so hopefully you can see this. The way you adjust the, uh, the foot pounds of torque is just twisting this, this bottom handle. So all we need is 15. We go right up to that uh, 15 right there. So it's at 10 roughly. And we just wanna get up to 15, right, right there, and we'll tighten her back up. Right there, 15, hope you can see that. All right. All right, I thought I was filming, sorry guys, I kinda missed it. This is your, uh... all right, so this is your oil filter right here, and it just spins off counterclockwise righty tighty lefty loosey and when it starts to leak it's gonna leak from this side right here it's when you've broken the seal go ahead and let it drain into your pan oops wrong direction there we go uh, let it drain until it's pretty much done leaking out um, obviously your pan is pretty full at this time you don't want to unscrew it and have it splash everywhere so I like to let it get pretty dry, um, or pretty empty rather, before I uh, move the pan out of the way and, and pull that thing off. Uh, I, I typically also lay down just a little rag. If you have a drip pan, that works great. I don't have one for some reason, probably because I'm a dummy. And I like oil stains on my concrete. Um, you may still see some oil come out, so just kind of be ready to put that thing back, that uh, pan back. Been the wrong way, my bad. Yeah, still leaking. All right. So now you got your new filter out of the old in with the new and I've got my four quarts of oil so it might not take all four quarts um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably fill it with three uh, maybe even three and a quarter three and a bit and uh, and then see where it's at on the dipstick when you're putting this when you're putting this uh, oil filter back on it's really important to to go ahead and lube up that that seal gonna help you get a real good nice and tight seal putting uh, putting that oil filter back on best way to do that is just kind of dip your finger in some of this new oil and just rub it right around the rim just go ahead and let it soak up same deal with uh, with car uh, with changing a car oil filter just moving up the, uh, the gasket there and it goes on same way it came off. All right. So this is uh how she goes back on.
and that is that okay so let's go ahead and torque up those uh drain plugs and then we're done on the underside all right so now i'm going to crack open our oil fill slash dipstick i already loosened this up earlier so it wasn't wasn't already that loose okay I like to cover this up in a rag when I set it down just so I don't so I don't get it dirty. And you want to make sure your your oil filter going in is nice and clean. Right. Right. All right, moment of truth. Start that baby back up. All right, so that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think I ended up with uh, just over uh, three and a half quarts of oil in. Uh, everything that I read and everything that I saw online said that this kind of varies a little bit. I, I think it really depends on how much oil drains out of uh, out of your bike um, and whether or not you change the oil filter. Um, so I read it could be anything from 2.8 to 3.8 liters. And so I'm at like, I'd say 3.6, 3.7 liters, not liters, I'm sorry, quarts. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Pumped about it, 500 mile service, done.